What's up guys, I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build, a place where we don't care if a glass is half full or half empty because we know how to work a tapper. Okay guys, after I did my how to etch glass video, which I will put up over here, after the video, the question I got more than anything in the comments was, how do you engrave something that isn't flat on the rotary? Kind of like this pint glass here, uh, because what I was doing is something that's flat like this. So today, homies, we're gonna figure out how to do this together. Bing! Things first, I'm gonna grab a little bit of lacquer thinner. I'm going to be reminded that I sanded my fingerprints off and that it hurts and I'm just gonna clean these glasses. Again, I get all my practice glassware from like a thrift store. Um, I usually pay like a buck a glass. We get these nice and clean because what we're gonna use is cold galvanizing compound. This stuff right here. And if your glass is not completely clean, you will see it. Like I tried to spray one of these before I cleaned it, just kind of on accident. And every fingerprint that's ever been on that glass in a thrift store, mind you, uh, showed up. So just make sure you wipe them down with a lacquer thinner. Probably could use paint thinner or something like that. I just have lacquer thinner available. And next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out, we're gonna give them a coat of cold galvanizing compound. What I've discovered is you wanna give it one even coat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pass left to right once and we're gonna pass up and down once. If you put too much paint on there, your etch isn't going to look right. You're, it won't burn evenly and you'll have kind of some funky spots. Kind of like here, if you can see real close, see how it's not uniform white across there? That's why. Okay, so another thing I've started doing with my glasses, um, before I taped the top of this off so I didn't get any inside, but now I've just been turning them over and doing them like that. It seems to work fine and you don't have to worry about the tape and screwing around with it. Okay, so we're just gonna do an even coat. And unless you're gonna engrave on both sides, you don't really need to do the back, but I'm gonna do the back just in case we mess up. <laughs> okay, and then we're just gonna let those sit for about an hour and dry. Okay, so our pint glasses have had time to dry. And now I'm gonna introduce you to the game changer. This is the secret weapon that you need to be able to engrave a pint glass. It's a doorstop. <laughs> Um, I'll link to these down below because I like them. It's a wide door stop. But basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the rotary up on one end and we're going to pull level on it. And we're gonna engrave that bad boy. Let's get to work. Get a little, little stanky, stanky leg in there. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm damn near 50. Why would I know how to do the stanky leg? Okay, so once you get your rotary set up, she's gonna come in here. You're gonna put that under there until you can pull level on the pint glass. Probably about, not yet, not yet. All right, we need a little bit more. Oop, we have to improvise a bit with something like this to keep you level, to keep you from rocking back and forth. And like I said, we're just gonna keep pushing up until we pull level. And it should be right about here-ish. All right, and there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that here, that is level. But now we're gonna focus just like we normally would. Find the highest point, drop this down. Can you guys see that as my arm in the way? We're gonna kick stand up, and then all we wanna do is find center on this glass, which is right about there. And let me show you something real quick. This is gonna be kind of a, here, let me just, I, I gotta pull you off the tripod, I apologize. I hope I can show this to you better. Okay, so see how this kind of looks like it's going way off? That's just the cylinder here. If you come down and look at it like this, you can see that that line is even with the top of the glass. I don't even know if that translates really well on camera, but like if I get down to eye level right here, I can see that that line is straight across. Whereas you look at it like this, it looks like it's a big old angle. I hope we're all familiar with the Duff Beer logo. 
But basically you're gonna take your image into the laser box basic and then you're gonna turn it, I, I just use the negative 90, right? Negative 90 degrees, 270 degrees. Basically that's gonna orient it to where it's gonna print on your glass. And then um, I just picked up a couple of these flexible tapes. It's, uh, I think they're used for sewing mainly, but it allows me to measure around a cylindrical object and it has inches and uh, millimeters on it. Since I'm not super familiar with millimeters, we got it. So what we're gonna do is we're to get a good idea of how big we want our image to be. We wanna get kind of the middle of the image. So I'm looking at this. I wanna be able to see both sides of the glass. That doesn't make any sense. I wanna be able to see the entire image when I'm looking at one side of the glass. This is kind of halfway in between where I want it. It looks like that's gonna be at 70 millimeters or seven centimeters. So we're lucky here because this image is square. So the height and width are the same. What I've noticed sometimes in LaserBox is if you turn it first, it doesn't change those dimensions until after you mess with it. So if, it, if you have a longer than tall or vice versa image, I would suggest getting the dimensions correctly before you turn it. Okay, so when etching glass and using the cold galvanizing compound, I use the stainless steel settings in laser box. That is 100% power and 12 millimeters per second. Okay, the biggest thing I cannot stress enough in laser box is to make sure that you check the cylinder working box when you get to the final screen here. If you don't see this turn, you need to check that box. Now we're gonna run a frame. I feel like that got a little obnoxious, didn't it? Hold on, let's run one more. Yeah, see that's rolling it out. So here's what we gotta do. Okay, so we did have to adjust this a little bit. Basically we had to bring this out to the next roller out. All that is is an Allen screw and you pop this up and you move it over one and you'll see it, it rolls much better now. And when you do this, of course, you're gonna have to like reset everything again. There is two of these in the kit. Um, and the deal that I'm gonna send you, there's two of these and the Amazon link don't be afraid to use them both in order to get your stuff right. There we go. Okay, once again, we are level. We're gonna come over, we're gonna readjust our focus again because we're much different now. so hot off the laser. If you're a beer guy and you never wanted a duff beer pint, just get out. All right, so before we strip that down and see what the final product looks like, let me just say, uh, thanks for sticking around until this part of the video. I appreciate it. If there's anything else you want me to see me engrave on glass, let me know down below. We may make it happen if it's really cool. And I would like to say thank you to all of my patrons. These are the guys that make the magic happen. Especially my top tier or Boilermaker patrons, Steven Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coach, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Jim Carter, Andy the Viking, Dwight Smith, and Christopher Walters. Walters? God. And Christopher Walters. Clinky, where's my... I have something I'm drinking out of right now. That steam coming out of the mug is because it's such, such hot whiskey. Clinky to you. If you guys haven't checked out my Patreon page, head on over, I'll link it down below. Join up if that's your thing. Really helps the channel out. Now, let's strip this thing down and see what it looks like. And holy crap, that looks amazing. Look at that. We're gonna see if we can actually get it to focus on it since it's clear let's oh let's put something in the glass kids that kids is how you etch a, uh, a a pint glass something that's not completely level and now i kind of want a beer until next time thanks for playing and now i gotta get to work which i'll put up over here because i can never remember which one it is so i was doing both uh <laughs>
what? I can never remember. I think it's the left, but I can't, I can't turn it. I don't. Don't demonetize me for this song. Now, let's strip this thing down like a freshman. <laughs> nah, don't do that.